This is CBS 12 News at 3. The YMCA of Palm Beach County is relaunching its teen lab. We'll tell you what it is and how your kids can get involved. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to CBS 12 News at 3. The YMCA of Palm Beach County is relaunching its teen lab. This lab offers opportunities for teenagers to make friends, discover new interests, and collaborate with one another to prepare for their future. Well, here to tell more about it is the president and CEO of YMCA of South Palm Beach County, Jason Hagensick, and Jason's daughter here. She's a team leader at the Y. We also have Abby Hagensick joining us. And thank you both for uh, being here in our studios to talk about this teen lab. What It sounds amazing. Jason, I want to start with you. You had your teen lab grand opening on the Boca campus. Can you tell us a little bit more about this and what it offers? Sure. So our YMCA made a commitment during the pandemic to invest in teens. And YMCA's across the country really invest in kids all the time, whether it's uh, the youngest kids going to preschool or elementary school age kids going to after school programs or summer camps but we really saw a deficit in teen programming so we repurposed about 2500 square feet of administrative space to focus on teens we're really excited about it it's been officially open for about two weeks and I think the kids are loving it yeah and I know we've come a long way since the pandemic right but the pandemic was especially rough for teenagers so why are teens such a focus here for the YMCA of South Palm Beach County I think that's exactly it is that during the pandemic uh, we were forced to acknowledge and realize that teens were having a hard time mm. and while there was a lot of resources for kids in general that teens were kind of getting left behind and I'm a little bit selfish as you can see I've got my daughter here with me that uh, she was going to be a teen and my son's uh, yes. 12 he's he's mm. about to hit that as well oh, so yeah. uh, you know the why is very intentional mm -hmm. about investing in kids and teens were just the next obvious step for us. Abby, you are 15 years old. Uh, just tell us a little bit about the teens that have come to this lab and what do they think about this space? So the teens are awesome. We have teens from their sixth grade year to the 12th grade year of high school and they, they love the space. Mm -hmm. I work in Chase's Place, which is our special needs program at our YMCA. Wow. And I just, I love how inclusive the lab is because even our teens can just go and just be like everyone else and I just love it so much. If uh, and some teenagers may be watching this or may watch this interview later who may be interested, you know, what's that advice that you'd like to give them? Just, uh, just be yourself. It's so <laughs> inviting and so homey. Just honestly, just come and enjoy yourself. And Jason, one last thing. You know, after care, uh, after school care rather has become really a crisis for a lot of parents here. The prices are still skyrocketing, and. I'm sure there's programs out there that you guys offer that makes it more affordable for them. Can you tell us about that? We do. In fact, right now, our YMCA, we have about 175 volunteers that are out trying to raise money to make YMCA programs affordable and accessible to all. YMCAs across the country have a motto that we don't turn anyone away based on an inability to pay. So if there's anyone out there that needs child care, swim lessons, camps, sports, membership to the YMCA, uh, you know, come visit us, uh, have a mm -hmm. conversation with us, and we're going to do everything we possibly can to make it accessible for you. That includes uh, important programs such as after school child care, summer camp, and mm -hmm. teen programming. It's great to see these those uh, videos that just kind of gives us a glimpse of what it looks inside. Abby, just one last thing as we wrap up this interview, just tell us more about the teen leadership opportunities and the teen club programs out there, why it's important. So we have our teen leaders club, which is awesome. You help out the community as well as yourself becoming a better leader. We have after school help. We have sports on the weekends, and it's just awesome for teens to come and spend their time doing things that are good for the environment and our and yeah. our community. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Abby, Jason, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and telling us all about it.